Hey guys, Shadow Mario 41 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Perfect Dark with Enemy Rockets. Today we'll be doing Data Dine Investigation, the second level of the first mission, where we will explore the underground labs of Data Dine that we gained access to in the first mission. So here we have the elevator that we rode, but the guard notices that there's no one in it. How could this be? So he does the dumbest thing in the world and walks inside. Oh, that that hurts. That ouch. I would not want to be that guard. Alright, so as always I'll show you the run of me doing it successfully first, and then some deaths at the end. Once again there's three deaths. I didn't plan it that way, that's just how it happened. Alright, so we take out that first guard pretty easily. This room is pretty tough with enemy rockets. Because as you see, one rocket explodes and shoots out all the lights. Luckily none of the guards in that room survived the blast either, else they'd be shooting at me with no lights on. So we have a shield over here. And this mission is notably longer than the one before it. And it's much more difficult with enemy rockets on than without. So now we have to use a device called the Cam Spy to fulfill the first objective which is photograph the radioactive isotope because if we go in there we'll lose health so we use our little mobile camera to go in there and take a picture and now the trick I just did there was taking out the rocket launcher so I could store an extra rocket normally it only lets you store three rockets but with one in the gun like one loaded in the rocket launcher you can store four so now we have a little shootout, I guess. There's a bunch of guards over here. That'll be the last scene of rocket launchers. Normally you'd have to go inside all these labs to shut down enemy experiments. Or it's retrieve experiments or something like that. But luckily this time we don't have to. Because we are in agent difficulty. I'm starting to really love agent difficulty with enemy rockets. Don't you? Anyway. Um, so yeah, this, this gets a little crazy. Luckily the guards mostly kill themselves, so that's pretty good. Pretty good for us. So anyway, um, now we have our first, I guess it's like a puzzle. I guess you consider it the only, you can consider it one of the only puzzles in Perfect Dark. Where we have to use that little robot that you saw on the floor to deactivate the lasers and walk through when it deactivates. So now would be a good time to talk about the project. Um, I believe it was Stone Bob uh, 24? Um, Stone Bob 26. Stone Bob 26 said, are you going to do the bonus missions? And the only two, well the only three I have unlocked are uh, Mr. Blonde's Revenge, My SOS, and The Duel. I, am n I do not have the War or War unlocked. Um, and I probably won't be unlocking, but yes, I will do the bonus missions. I decided that I will do them, or at least try to. I unlocked my SOS the other day, actually, because um, I never really like tried to. I don't know. I was never really motivated to unlock the bonus missions. But now that I have two, I'm pretty happy. And my SOS is a pretty cool mission, so I'm glad I went for it. There's someone here. Alright, so as you heard Carrington say, Dr. Carroll has to be nearby, which means we're almost at the end. Thank God. Alright, so if you go up to that door, it says it's locked. So we have to use the data uplink to crack the code. And bypass the locks. So we go down here. here. Luckily there's no guards in this part, but now we have a pretty big room with a bunch of guards in it, which is not good with enemy rockets. As you see, I get hit pretty badly. But I'm still alive, still going. A little worried about running out of ammo, but I did pretty good. I knocked the rocket launcher out of that guard's hand, and another guard blew him up. So that takes care of that. 
Now, that's pretty much the end of the mission. The only we have only one more room left, and we have to go through here and blow up these auto guns. Luckily, normally you have to shoot them, but luckily we can just use the rocket launcher to blow them up. And once you go in this room, you complete the mission. It's a good thing, because I only had seven shots left with the Falcon 2 pistol. Dr. Carroll? Dr. Carroll, are you here? Hello? Is this to help? So Dr. Carroll is in there, and he comes out in a blinding flash. What? And it's revealed that he's a computer. Dr. Carroll is asked, actually uh, a special computer AI. Has, he has vital information, as you just heard. So now we have to leave. And that would be level 3 of mission 1, Data Dine Extraction, where we have to get the hell out of there. So, that'll be fun. And as always, Right now, I'm going to show you some of my deaths. Like I said, there are three deaths. So, yeah, enjoy. They're pretty good this time, so I hope you like them. Alright, this is Shadow Mario 41. I'm glad you enjoy seeing me die over and over and over. Um, tune in next time where we get out of the building, hopefully alive, with Dr. Carroll, hopefully still intact and not blown to pieces. And that's it. This is Shadow Mario 41. See you later.